Hey guys, my name is Karis Park and today I'm going to go over the difference between preterite and imperfect. So to start off for preterite, you're going to use it when there's a single action or a specific moment in time. You're also going to use it for when actions are interrupting the ongoing action. We're going to talk about the ongoing action later. And then you also use it to state the beginning or the end of an action. And lastly, you're going to use it for actions that were repeated for a specific number of times. Moving on to the imperfect tense, we're going to use it for action or actions in progress in the past. So an example would be was eating. You're also going to use it for repeated habitual actions. So that's when you would say I used to do something. <clears throat> and then you're also going to use it for telling time. Um, also for describing the weather, for describing your age or stating the date. And then you're also going to use it for description and characteristics. And lastly, you're going to use it for endless activities. So words that indicate the use of preterite are ayer, ante ayer, anoche, desde el primer momento, durante dos siglos, el otro día, en ese momento, entonces, esta mañana, esta tarde, la semana pasada, el mes pasado, el año pasado, hace dos días o años, ayer por, ayer por la mañana, or lastly, ayer por la tarde. And then here are some words that indicate the use of the imperfect tense. A menudo, a veces, cada día, cada semana, cada mes, cada año, con frecuencia, de vez en cuando, en aquella época, frecuentemente, generalmente, muchas veces, mucho, nunca, por un rato, siempre, tantas veces, todas las semanas, todos los días, todo el tiempo, and lastly, varias veces. So here are a few examples of whether you're going to use the imperfect or, um, the imp or the or the preterite tense depending on the key words that I just went over. <clears throat> so firstly, nosotros, and then we're going to choose one verb. A la playa cada verano. So as I stated, um, here I said cada 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 cada. So as I see here, it says every summer. So that's going to be using the imperfect tense. And the, and the imperfect tense in these two choices is íbamos. So you would not use fuimos. Uh, the second question states, El perro siempre volvió o volvía al, a la misma hora. So as you can see here, it says siempre. And siempre is a key word in the imperfect tense, as you can see right here. So we are actually going to use imperfect, and this is imperfect, so we're going to cross out volvio. Moving on, nosotros hicimos or hacíamos un viaje a Aruba el año pasado. So as I stated here, um, preterite would be used for the specific moment in time. So as you can see here, it was el año pasado, and confirming with the um, words that indicate the use of the use of preterite, it was la... Sorry, it was el año pasado, and it says it right here. So we would use preterite, and that would be hicimos. So the fourth question asks, ella habló o hablaba, hablaba por teléfono ayer por la tarde. So as you can see here again, it says ayer por la tarde, which is a specific moment in time. So you would use hablo, and you would cross out the imperfect tense. Moving on, el hombre estuvo or estaba feliz por un rato. Por un rato was actually over in this, um, uh, the words of indicating um, the imperfect tense. So it says for a while here. So we would actually use the imperfect tense. And then the second to last question states, ella fue or iba al centro comercial ayer. Ayer, again, as I stated in these two questions, are a specific moment in time, so you would use the preterite tense. So in this case, fue is the imp impreterite, sorry, is the preterite tense. And lastly, mi padre jugaba or jugó golf cuando comenzó llover. So as I stated here, the preterite is going to be used for actions that interrupt the ongoing action. So <clears throat> there, this, when your dad, my dad is playing golf, that is actually the ongoing action. And then when it started to rain, that's when it was the preterite. So as you can see here, this is the preterite tense, comenzó. So then you would use in front of it the imperfect tense. So again, my dad was playing golf when the rain 
started like when it started raining. So in this case, you would use hugaba. In the next lesson, we're going to go over the irregulars of the preterite and imperfect. Thank you for watching.